Hey everybody, GP Walsh here with another presence tapping video for you. Now, this one's kind of special because I created it for my course, Tapping on the Buddha, Meridian Tapping as a Spiritual Practice. And I decided I would take this one and I would make it available on YouTube as well, because it's such an important and powerful subject. And that's the subject of shame. Toxic shame is one of the most debilitating and unpleasant things you can possibly experience. And we've all probably experienced it. Maybe some of us a whole lot more than we deserve. Um, you know, the difference between guilt and shame, at least the way I define them, just so we can be clear, is that guilt, there's a way out. I did something bad, I can make amends to it, I can repent, right? But the toxic shame that lives in us and really debilitates us is the sense that there's basically something defective and flawed about me. It's not something I can make amends for. It's not something I can fix. It's what I am. And that's a very deep wound that many of us carry around unconsciously for our, our whole life until, of course, we become conscious and begin to uh, dive into those dark parts of us that feel ashamed and bring them love. So in this tapping, I want you to do before we actually start the tapping. So I want to do a, a little uh, somatic exercise that I, I learned from uh, an expert on, on childhood trauma and the relief of it, uh, Peter Levine. And it's very simple. Um, you may not be feeling any shame right this second, or maybe you are. What I want you to do is I want you to just, as you're sitting there, just kind of let your head drop, your, your back sag, and you look, look away. Like you're in the position that you'd be in if you felt ashamed. Just imagine a little kid when they, when they, when they uh, get shamed by their parents. They just, their head goes down, they look to the side, and they just everything just kind of sags and contracts. And what you want to, I want you to do is Take a breath, and very slowly, one vertebrae at a time, lift yourself up. Bring yourself up to an erect position, almost like your head's being pulled up uh, by a string. And look squarely right in front of you. You're literally putting your body into the posture of dignity. The body's allowed to assume that. You're giving permission to the body to assume that. Just so you can really feel it. Let's do it one more time. Kind of sag into the feeling of being shamed. Just kind of, you, know, you don't want to face anybody. Head to the side. Just really sagging and contracted. Now take a breath. One vertebrae at a time. Bring everything up, bring your head up, like your head's being pulled towards the ceiling. And now, just look straight ahead and sit in a moment in this posture of dignity. Because pride, true pride, healthy pride and dignity are the opposite of shame. You can bring the body into that state by a simple exercise like that. So now what I want to do is I want to start tapping. Just start doing our presence tapping. Just let yourself stay while you're tapping in this posture of dignity. Doing this is very powerful. So notice the, the emotion of shame lessens, maybe even disappears when your body gets moved into a different shape. It responds to that. Now, when we are deeply in shame. It may be almost impossible to, to move your body. It's so frozen by the shame. But eventually, that will come down enough that you can bring yourself up and restore yourself to dignity. 
Just stay in this dignified position. Even if you don't have anything, feel ashamed of anything. Even if you don't have toxic shame, like many people do. But just inhabit this posture of dignity. Shame, while it feels as if you are flawed, defective, there's something essentially wrong with you. You're simply not enough. It feels that way. It's actually just a state of the nervous system. It's a state it's adopted. It's a posture it has adopted. Because in the face of the power, in the face of the power that was asserting that, the vulnerability, totally helpless, the body assumed this position just as a way of deferring, as a way of honor, giving honor to whoever it was that was shaming. It's an act of deference. Bow to a king or something. Now, the body doesn't immediately interpret that as I'm defective. Comes a, a little bit later, but the only way a child, especially if you have had childhood shame, and I got a lot of it, the only sense that the, that the young developing self can uh, make of it, because it can't impute any wrongdoing to the to the to the authority that that's uh, doling out the shame, it has to take it on itself. The child has to take it on him or herself. It's just the way it is. There must be something wrong with me. There can't be anything wrong with them. And then comes, it can be a lifetime of, of striving with all your heart, all your energy, to prove that you're worthy, to prove that you're lovable and valuable. Sometimes you, you may become very inhibited and not feel like you can prove it. You're very debilitated by it. Other times you become an overachiever, trying to uh, do everything you, you can to, kind of, to disprove this very deep, energetic body assumption. Something wrong with me. If your posture is sagged a little bit as we've been tapping. Bring it back. Pull the head up. Back in the posture of dignity. You could possibly do that. Relax, but at least stay upright. We're just inviting the nervous system now. We're not forcing it. We're not telling it, I'm not defective. I'm okay. I'm enough. Because affirmations like that simply don't work on the body. It doesn't respond to, to, to talking. It only responds to touch and intention. It responds to an environment of safety. And that's what we're doing. What if it's not true? Inviting the body to, to, to consider. What if it's not true? What if I'm not flawed? What if it was just the way they saw me? They didn't think I was valuable or lovable. They didn't know how to explain. What if it was never true? I invite my whole nervous system to open up and find out, check it out. Check it out for real. And see if it might not be possible to let go of this shame. So 
yourself. Let yourself just tap away. Feel it, breathe. Let the tapping do its job. No need to struggle with it. Relax into the posture of dignity. Okay. Stop and take a deep breath. Just feel your body for a moment. Tapping always has a very calming effect on my body. If, if something came up, maybe some memory of some instant incident in the past, something that you something that you are ashamed of, just let it come. You can tap with it. Let it come. Don't try to fight it or force it away. Just notice that. And know that what's happening is, is as the nervous system gets more safe, feels like it might be safe, it begins to release the defensive behaviors that it had gotten stuck in. And in the process of doing that, memories can come up, feelings can, can come up, uh, doubt, resistance, all sorts of things can come up. They're part of the process in, uh, by which the, the energy system clears out everything it doesn't need anymore. So don't worry about it. You know, uh, right, at least for the purpose of presence tapping, and, and this video, you don't have to process it. Don't try to do anything with it. Obviously, uh, uh, sometimes we need to specifically deal with the stuff that, um, that comes up. And I do it all the time. I do it most of the time in sessions with uh, people and the like. But in this presence tapping, we're, we're making space. We're reconditioning the, the nervous system to be much more open and responsive, which allows it to heal. It allows the energy to start flowing in its natural, its natural and healthy uh, nature. And in that process, clear out everything that's in the way. So thank you for joining me on this. And uh, see you in the next video.